everybody. Great to see that you're here on time. Let me guess. Our last lesson made you so curious that you were eagerly waiting for me to start the next one. Right? So, what are we waiting for? Let's continue our topic on the three divisions of disease control. Before I reveal the first one, I have a riddle for you. What is something you can catch but can't throw? The answer is a cold. So, what do you do to avoid catching a cold? You wear warm clothes before going out. Drink a lot of hot delicious soups and probably take multivitamins to increase your immunity. In short, you take all the necessary preventive measures to avoid any infection. And this is exactly what our first action for controlling diseases is all about. Preventive measures. Besides these practical preventive measures, biological science also provides us with information about the causative agents and how they transmit the diseases. For instance, in the pandemic, where most of us witnessed COVID-19 or the coronavirus, we were all informed about how this virus spreads and were able to take different preventive measures like wearing masks, using hand sanitizers, and antibacterial soaps, and maintaining a six-foot distance. Let's take another example of the notorious disease of acquired immune deficiency syndrome caused by HIV or the human immunodeficiency virus. Unfortunately, this disease is not yet curable, but it can be prevented by avoiding its mode of transmission, which includes unprotected sexual contact, blood transfusion, and usage of contaminated syringes or surgical instruments. Similarly, hepatitis, which is caused by the hepatitis virus, can be prevented by avoiding contaminated blood transfusion and usage of infected syringes and surgical instruments. Why do you think we need to do or know all of this? Because that's how this disease transmits and by avoiding the point of contact, we can avoid catching it. Simple. 